Tetsuhiro Morinaga, is a university student with a big crush on his senpai, Suchi Tatsumi. And one day Morinaga decides to confess his feelings. But unfortunately for him, Suchi is very homophobic, and quickly rejects Morinaga's feelings. And for the sake of this awkward situation, a while, both pretend that nothing happened. But even so, Morinaga's feelings haven't gone away, even though Suchi being a very difficult man, who has a possessive obsession with his younger brother. Morinaga prefers to see the good side of his. And he continues to admire him. One evening, when Morinaga has a drink with his friend, he complains about the situation in which he is with his senpai, and this friend, offers a small solution to Morinaga's problem. A bottle with something special in it, that can make the senpai more sensitive. Morinaga doesn't want to accept it at first, but still takes the bottle and stores it, in a safe place. The next day, Suchi is in a bad mood and needs a drink. So he has a few drinks at Morinaga's house. And when these drinks run out, Suchi, already a bit drunk, sends Morinaga to buy some more. Now alone, Suchi wanders around Morinaga's house, looking through his things. And of course, he finds the special bottle, that Morinaga had hidden, and drinks from it without thinking too much. When Morinaga returns home, he is shocked to see what Suchi has done. And he watched him, to not do something weird. But Suchi seems to be fine, nothing strange. But still, during the night, things start to change, as Suchi wakes up in a very strange state, and tries to stand up, his knees give up, and he falls to the floor. The noise wakes up Morinaga, and he realizes that the special drink has had its effect. So now he has to give Suchi a helping hand. And the rest of the night gets more interesting. But unfortunately, the next day, when morning comes, Suchi is extremely angry with Morinaga, and these two start arguing. Morinaga saying that it wasn't his fault, that Suchi knew how Morinaga felt about him, and that it was Suchi's fault for allowing him to get close to him. Finally Morinaga leaving his house, to give Suchi space. After that, things becoming very chaotic, because Morinaga can no longer look Suchi in his eyes. And he decides to call him, apologize, and confess his feelings again. Morinaga then making the decision to resang school, and disappear from Suchi's life. And Suchi, after a few days, realizes that he misses Morinaga a bit, and wants to talk with him. But he can't find him, neither at home nor on campus, even Morinaga's family says they haven't heard from him in years. And Suchi realizes that he really doesn't know much about Morinaga. Even so, he goes to his door every day to look for him. But Morinaga still does not appear. Suchi becoming very worried, and realizing that, that night wasn't all Morinaga's fault, and that he has feelings for him too. And in one of the evenings when Suchi goes to check Morinaga's door, the miracle happens and Morinaga is home. And Suchi rush inside and yells at Morinaga. Morinaga is a bit puzzled to see Senpai so worried, and realizes that he maybe can have some feelings for him. Finally hugging him, and assuring him that he will never leave his side again. And in the end things seem to settle down between the two, even if Suchi still remains a very difficult person, and does not fully admit his feelings for Morinaga.